Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restrict your AppSheet app outside the office hours. So the goal of this uh, video is, let's say I have a sample application here. I would like just to let the user add new data when during the office hours. So for example, the current time is 11 and the date today is Saturday and it's I'm often from 9 to 5 p.m. then I can add I can add new data and if let's say I'm going to change the office hour and let's say I change it into 10 o'clock in the morning only so this is already outside office hours then the add button disappear so let me show you how to do this so in my database I added a call uh, a table called office hours it has three columns day open and close all right so it's what time it opens and what time it's closed let's go to the app sheet so in the table office hours so it's the day is a text type open and close are time type so depending on the settings or or what would you like to hide so for example in this particular view the data since this is outside office hours I cannot hide, I mean, I cannot add new data because the add bottom is hidden. So let me adjust the timings, or we can do that here. So let's say I return it back to my normal operating hours, which is 9 to 5. So now I can add the data. So the way to do this is you need to find this action, click that, then this behavior section, and you can use this expression. So I'm using an AND here because I, I need to look up the open and then what time it's closed. Also, I use switch statement here because in my database, the day is a text. So I can also use 1, 2, up to 7, 7 a Saturday. Since I'm using a text type here, I'm going to use a switch statement. So here, first it looks up what is the current time now and it looks up also what is the day to day so then it looks up to the office hours table in a day column and it gives it returns the value what is the open time so here and then you can just copy this expression and paste it down here here and the difference only is that in open in open lookup it lookups it's more than or equal and here less than or equal and then just change it to close I'll, I'll try to paste this expression in the YouTube description all right so also if you would like to completely hide the the view you can apply this same expression here and there's a show if expression here you can just also paste this so in this uh, way the whole view will be disappear also if you wanted to hide this edit button you can also apply that here in the behavior section and paste it so let's try to uh, to test the to test this so right now it's 11 and i would like to change the office hours and also guys please note if you have a view for office hours you can uh, hide this view and give access to uh, let's say to the admins or to specific user email so you you can use user email is equals to this or user rule is equals to admin it's up to you how you how you decide which people uh, which users are able to uh, edit the office hours okay all right then Let's try to change this and let's say now it's 11 so I'll reduce it into 10 o'clock in the morning and then the whole view disappears as you can see. Then if I return it back to the normal one, to the normal office hours, save it. Now I can add the data and also I can see the view. So it's up to you um, which one are you going to hide or if you wanted to hide the complete view or the add button or you want just to hide the edit button so you can use this expression to place in the actions or in the views or you know uh, yes 
for those two. So I will try to paste this uh, expression in the YouTube description. All right, so if you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comment with any questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.